and welcome to this little uh, QGIS user guide where I'll be talking about how to extract coordinates from polygons, lines, points, whatever, and then save it first to an attribute table in QGIS and then from there into an Excel spreadsheet or whatever you want to do. So the use case is that you have a polygon like this one. Um, and what we want to do is that we want to extract the coordinates of each of these corners, each of the vertexes of that polygon, and save that as an exponential spreadsheet like this one, where I have an X and a Y coordinate. In this case, latitude, longitude, but I'll show how that can be any coordinate system you choose. So that's what um, I'm going to demonstrate. So let's jump into it. Um, First of all, we have our little um, polygon here. And what I want to do is I want to use the processing tool, start from the processing toolbar, let's click them on here. And the toolbar we'll be using will be called extract vertices. So let's type in extract. And you will find it, I have it up here as my it used and it's also down here under vector geometry. So that's where you will find it if, if you haven't used it. So choose that one and then choose your object. Have some temporary data set, run it and close. Once uh, we have our new vertex layer here, we want to extract the coordinates for each of the points. So we will open the attribute table. We will use Abacus, the field calculator. Create a new field called X. And assign that the X value of the geometry, the core geometry. The geometry. Okay. Geometry like that. Um, you can also find this by going down to geometry, and here in the geometry part, you will find the x, and you will find the geometry somewhere uh, there. So, but however you get it, that's your coordinate. Good. And then do exactly the same for the Y. So, field calculator, a Y, a Y of dollar geometry oh. at um, Geometry, run. And uh, now we have our two geometries, of course. Um, you might want to have it as a decimal value. I, I've just rounded it to integers for whatever it is, whole meters in this UTM. But if I wanted it, in, let's say, in latitude, longitude, I have a little extra step there because I can't just change to the projection of my view, I have to reproject my original file. So I'll have to take this one and do a reproject layer on my this, and I want to reproject it into uh, VGS. So now I have this one reprojected to VGS. If I now do my extract vertices on this one, uh, my reprojected, uh, run it. Okay, so this is my, let's rename this one uh, to 
Yes. And in this one, I can now open the attribute table, add a X attribute of a decimal value. That is going to be X of dollar. Geometry, and as you can see, we now have them as decimal values and as latitude longitudes. So that's um, the first part of it. Now I can have let's skip back to this one, the one where I did it in um, in a UTM coordinate system. So I, ha I had both my x and y here. And if I want that exported to a Excel spreadsheet, just right click the layer, go down to your export, save features as, choose down here, this MS Office, and save your data, demo, ports, good, on that. Open the file and now we have our data set created of our coordinates in Excel, in this case in UTM 32. So, hope you uh, found the video useful. Um, and uh, Hope to see you in another little video. Bye.